Hey friends, Dave here with Transfer Express, and today we are talking about the huge profit, packed potential in designing and selling employee uniforms. Now, uniforms are a large market in the apparel decorating industry because almost all businesses need them. And today we're going to talk about the do's and don'ts for creating uniforms for all businesses, big or small. So are you ready? Let's get to work. If you are new to Transfer Express, we are the world's largest supplier of custom screen printed and digital heat transfers, heat presses, free customizable designs, wholesale apparel, and expert advice to help grow your t-shirt business. If you haven't already, subscribe. We're kicking out new videos like this one every single week. Now, the most important thing that you need to do as a decorator before you begin designing a company's uniform is to learn as much about the business as you can. It's very important to ask your customer for details about their type of business, what the employees wearing the shirts do day to day, and where the shirts are going to be worn. Now these questions are crucial because it's gonna impact both the design and the material decisions for your garments that are gonna make up this job. For example, if the shirts are only going to be worn at one location, like a coffee shop, restaurant, or store, then just printing the logo is going to be completely fine. However, if the business is mobile, like contractors or landscapers, you're probably going to want to add more information as the shirts typically act as a walking billboard advertising their services. So adding those bullet points of the services they provide, contact info, maybe the area that they service, the logo of the business, if they have one, and definitely the name of the business is super important. So be sure to make the text big enough too, so that people could read the information from a distance. Another aspect to consider when designing employee uniforms is what type of material you should select for the garments for their business. So if employees are working indoors at say a retail store and it's pretty light work or you want them to look fashionable, you're going to get away with something lighter and more premium. However, if the work is labor intensive, then you probably don't want to be printing on those premium garments like a Bella Canvas 3001. You'll want to choose cheaper or more durable garments like the Port & Company PC54 that can be replaced very easily or ordered in bulk quantities for a down low price or even withstand heavy laundering if they're a commercial contractor that's getting dirty at work every single day. Now if the work is outdoors, you're also going to want to think about choosing possibly a moisture wicking garment for those hot summer months for the employees to stay cool. Now these are all things that you could suggest as a custom decorator that could help you show that you know what you're doing to your customers or prospective customers and also help you win more print jobs. Now you do want to think outside the box of just t-shirts. So for food service jobs, the baristas or the restaurants, like you could have aprons that you provide as well or just suggest to your clients as add on sales. Being able to offer additional accessories can really help you upsell your customer into buying more from your business. As an example, check out this gang sheet that we made in the free EasyView online designer for a customer with a custom car business. So you can see here we were able to fit artwork for a left chest and a full back on our t-shirt and still had room on the gang sheet to add this hat print right here and an inside tag. Now that we've talked about the do's and don'ts, let me show you how easy it is to actually create an employee uniform with just a t-shirt. So we'll be taking this Port & Company PC 150 ring spun cotton shirt, super soft as well as durable and affordable, and we're gonna be coupling that with our hot split retro screen printed transfers from here at Transfer Express. You can see all of our artwork here on the gang sheet. We're going to be printing a left chest and a full back print. So the first step is going to be cutting our images out from our gang sheet super easily with just a pair of scissors. First step is going to be loading our heat press. Here I'm just going to open the shirt up like it's a pillow going on a pillowcase and push it all the way back. That's how I know it's straight because I see these seams right here on the front of the platen that are straight. Then I'm just going to wheel this off and pull it all the way off until no collars or seams are on our printing area. It's great, I can check each side and make sure that we're nice and even with the seam. Now for left chest prints, typically a lot of people have trouble with placement, but it is so super easy to nail the left chest placement. All we're gonna do is to even help, we can move this one up so we could see where this top shoulder seam meets the collar of our shirt. Then we're gonna trace a line straight down, all the way straight down right there. Now, that's going to be the center line of our graphic. So we'll place our graphic right there on the center line. 
For the distance down from collar, we'll do about four fingers to the top of the graphic. I'll just check here and see that the top of our graphic pretty much comes to the top of the paper. So maybe we're just down right where that line is. Now this graphic is at a skew, but these grid lines on the back of the paper with our goof proof and hot split transfers like we have here make aligning this super easy. So I'll just gauge that right there. We look great. The center line comes right through the center of our transfer. And now we'll pull the collar off the platen so we have a nice smooth, flat, even printing surface to print. And we always recommend pre-pressing your garment before pressing. We've already pre-pressed this one. And now we'll just go ahead and print. Now our hot split retro transfers apply at a little bit higher temperature than our goof proof, the 365 to 370, with an eight to 10 second dwell time just because they don't have that adhesive powder for a super smooth and soft hand feel on the garment itself. So we're actually liquefying those inks so they sit into the fibers of the shirt. And now let's press it. Hot split is in fact a hot peel transfer. So we'll remove the carrier immediately when the press opens. Once we are all set with our front print, Let's rotate it around to the back. Now, the quick slip pad protector that we have on our lower platen makes this so easy that we literally could just rotate the shirt around and push it right back on up. We don't even have to remove it from the press. Now we'll wanna make sure that we're all straight and centered again by pushing all the way down and then rolling back off. You wanna make sure any collars or seams are off again and make sure that we're aligned on the platen just like we are. Now let's take our back graphic and we're gonna place this one down about four fingers down from the collar to ensure that it's gonna be right in between the shoulder blades. You could always grab your sleeve seams and look and gauge uh, where exactly that's going to lie. So we'll be right here smack dab in the middle of our back in between the sleeves. Right there, four fingers down, and the graphic starts right there at the top. Of course, now that because we didn't pre-press the back of our garment, it's time to pre-press. Without pre-pressing, that moisture is fighting up when it's evaporating with the heat while you're trying to push inks down into the fibers. So you may see some uh, premature wear or cracking on these transfers if you aren't pre-pressing. We'll line it back up to the four fingers where we had it, right where we were, even checking with the sleeves again to make sure that we're right centered in between the sleeves on the back. And we'll press this one again, eight to 10 seconds, and we'll feel it hot. Right when the press opens, we'll grab our carrier and peel it away in a nice smooth and even motion. You'll notice that goof proof and hot split transfers almost fall right off the carrier because of how well they attach to the shirt. We're gonna pull our shirt off the press and there you have it, an awesome back print, an awesome front print, and you may notice a slight discoloration on this red shirt. And it's very typical when you're printing reds or heavily dyed 100% cotton shirts that you will get a little bit of discoloration, but that's the difference in moisture. That's why you pre-press. Well, I hope this video made you feel more confident in doing employee uniforms and putting more profit in your pocket. Make sure to subscribe here to our YouTube for tons of helpful tips and tricks, just like this one that we're dropping every single week. But until next time, I'm Dave, happy pressing.